everyone and welcome to another episode of Hereford FC here in Vanilla FM and today we're going we're gonna to take a look at the start of the season for Skybet League One. We were promoted um, quite quickly actually so we look, take a look at the um, club history, kind of info, history, you got straight promotion um, in Skybet League, League Two, just one season in that league and then uh, yeah we're going to be trying our hand at Skybet League One. We are struggling. We don't have much money. Um, I'll take you through the transfers now, but just kind of heads up. We haven't really been able to update the squad very much. We played one match against Birmingham and we drew. We also played another match against uh, Coventry for the Carabao Cup and we won. So we're going to play Bournemouth next. That's going to be a tough match because they are a premiership uh, club. So yeah, not really expecting to take anyway, uh, anything away from that. Uh, anyway, so let's take a look at transfers. Let's take a look at the squad. And uh, don't don't be too worried about the reds here. Uh, I managed to get an affiliate um, link with Chelsea, and we did really badly against them, eight nil. So that's where some of those red figures came from. Um, right, so. Starting off in goal, we have a new goalkeeper, Drew Skip. He's on loan from Arsenal. Um, yeah, so he's going to be probably on par with Owen. Owen um, is still around, but uh, yeah, we, uh, I'm going to try to mix it up in goal this year. On the right side of the fence, we still have Blaine Rowe and Sai. No changes there. Left side we have one ch one change. We got Greg Young still from last season. Um, we nearly got replaced actually, but um, d couldn't quite close a deal um, in the end. Uh, new player we have Adam Groom, 26 years old. Uh, he came from several different clubs uh, of no importance really. Darlington from the North League. And then he was a Warrington Rylands, which is a non-league club. Um, then in the center of the fence, we still have the main three. So we still have Jaden Lott, uh, Harrison Burke, and uh, Finley Coleman. He's declining now. Wow, look at that. But we have one new player, um, Dexter Sneeden, uh, uh, regen, sorry, new gen. Uh, he's come on loan from Nottingham Forest. Oh, I didn't realize he was with us la last year. Well, not last year, a few seasons ago. Two seasons ago. Yeah, so he's with, with us again, this time on a permanent deal. Uh, it's going to be his first time on the Skybet League One scene. Then in defense, defensive midfield, we have managed to secure a permanent deal with Chris Austin. Uh, he was with us last year on loan from Swansea. And we got just a backup, Ethan Hill. Not not the greatest deal, I must admit. But yeah, we, we got him in. First time playing at this level. He was brought up with Mansfield. Yeah, so it's going to be a bit of a stretch for him. The center of midfield, we still have the same two, Adam Coomer and Calm String, Stringer. So no improvement there. Also no improvement in the right of, def of attack, Adam O'Shea, who's <laughs> well overdue being replaced. I just can't find anyone who's going to be able to take that on. And Raylon, uh, Rayon Dillon, also overdue replacement. Right side of, uh, so that's the right side. The left side of attack, we have uh, Federal Ross Lang still. And we got a new player, Jordan Williams, on loan from Man City. He played in Spain before. Oh, actually, no, he's on loan from Nottingham Forest. He got sold for free to Nottingham Forest. So another player on loan from Nottingham Forest. Um, and in attack, no changes. So we still have the four, um, Patrick Casey, we have Leighton Stewart, 
Uh, we have Kai Churchill, Churchley and Ben, Nugent Ben uh, Jablonski. So we have those four and no other changes really. So one new goalkeeper, one new defensive um, fullback left, one central defender, one defensive midfielder and one attacking midfielder left. So not many players, five players in all. So this team really needs some investment. We're not so bad. We managed to make some money up, you know, due to several things. But um, yeah, we still are struggling. I was going to play Finley for this next match, but I just realized he's tired. So uh, I'm going to play Bark. And let's just rejig this a little bit. Cool. So I'm going to play Burke. Um, and uh, we have like a few, you know, it's, we have uh, quite a few matches recently. So we have a few players that are tired. So I brought on uh, Jay Green to just step in our youth squads are strong uh, I don't think they've played yet for the league no they haven't okay so and routines has drawn during the first game drawn the first game we are still pretty good in cohesion we haven't really replaced enough players to have that go down although a lot of players don't support me anymore Interesting. I wonder why that is. Maybe they don't think I have a strong enough team. Anyway, so we're going to go ahead and play against uh, MK Dons, who used to be our previous um, affiliate club, but now that we're playing the same league, uh, we've gone with Chelsea instead. Um, they are in ninth, and we are currently in 13th, although with the same record, draw and a draw. We are obviously predicted to completely bottom out. So we're going to be struggling. It's one of those seasons where I really have to try and be really careful with money. As I think that's going to be a key for the maintenance of the club. But, you know, um, it, it, it's that kind of thing where, you know, I need to be careful with friendlies. So making sure I have lots of home friendlies with big teams to get that income in. That kind of thing maybe slim down my uh, youth but um to be fair i only have 22 in each squad 22 for the under 18s 22 for the under 21s so it's not like i have huge youth squads and, and they all play in competitive leagues so i feel like they should have a full team anyone who's extra i either sell or release so i don't hold on to extra players So yeah, so it's been quite a journey getting all the way to Sky Valley League One. It would be great if we could carry on up and up. By the way, I usually stop playing uh, in the summer. Just because it's, uh, you know, not the nicest thing to do to be indoors while it's nice and warm outside. It's more of a hobby thing, this, so... Um, no. But I'd like to get to the Premiership before the summer, although the summer is not too far away now. And of course, for the next release of FM, I'm obviously going to be playing again, and probably as Hereford again. They haven't been promoted, that in fact they were quite low in the league this year. So I'm definitely going to be picking up Hereford again and trying my hand at, you know, improving it again hopefully faster it took us a while to uh to get out of the first 
like a Van Rammer North, and then we were stuck in the National League for ages. So, yeah, hopefully it will progress faster next year in the next edition of the game. Now, I'm not going to lie, Skybet League 1 is going to be a struggle. I am under absolute no illusions about it. Um, it's going to be an absolute struggle. So we are probably going to come sort of like near the bottom, I suspect. I still think we can avoid relegation. At, at least I hope so. But um, I think we're going to be bottom of the league. N not even thinking about middle of the league. So it gives us time to build anyway, so that's good. Hopefully the uh, board will consider investment. We we really need that, especially expanding the stadium. They have made it part of their goal to expand the stadium. But again, that is whether or not they're prepared to go and, and get a loan and stuff. So... Hmm. I think it's five subs for this league. Let me just check. It could be more. No, it's five subs. It says at the top here. There you go. Cool, cool. thing is to make sure that we continue to sell game tickets well as well. I noticed that in the Carabao Cup we were playing at home and the stadium wasn't full. It was only like two and a half thousand people there. So um, <coughs> that's not great really. We need fans to come in more often. Obviously it would help if we had some big names. We haven't been able to attract the kind of player, because we don't have money, we haven't been able to attract the kind of player that attracts fans. So a lot of these players have been, they've been playing up actually, they're out of their league, but some of them are like, they should be in the National League and they're now in League One, so, um, yeah. Which also means it's gonna be hard to sell them, I think. At least for the kind of money that we need. Penalty. Why do we always give away penalties? It is so annoying. Can skip do it. I know Owen struggled a little bit recently with penalties. Skip went too soon. All right. I'm not too upset about it, it's fine. We can make it up, I'm sure we can make it up. The season is long and we have plenty of time to ensure that we don't fall into that relegation zone. That's the main aim, is to ensure we stay afloat. Financial wise as well, it'd be great for us to stay there. In fact, I haven't checked if there's any prize money for this league. But just the exposure of being in this league, in this league gave us more money as well, like TV rights and all of that. So we need to stay up here, really. And I'm hoping with time, some of our youth players might be able to play up. Oh, that is 
it's terrible. It's like it was caught napping. You could see it coming for ages though. Come on. So if you watch this now, yeah, I think he, if he'd stretch himself, he probably could have got there. Now that goal difference doesn't help us. It pushes us closer down, uh, closer to that relegation zone. Anyway, it is a tough season ahead of us and I will catch up with you round about the um, end of the transfer window just to kind of give you an update on how we've been able to improve the squad, which probably, I'm guessing, not much. We still have some transfer budget left, but, um, but the fact that we don't really have a scouting budget uh, means that we won't be able to scout much far and wide. So... I will uh, catch up with you again around about the February um, window for the for the game. Uh, thanks so much for watching till the end, and uh, see you next one. Bye.